and welcome to the season two finale of Annie's Podcast Hour. Wow, this was a long season. So, so for this, like this is gonna be good. I guess this is gonna be a short episode because I gotta upload season. I mean, episode ten. 11 and this episode too and this episode today so this will this won't take long so I'll be discussing two voice actors and two cartoons and then that's it I know this this will be like a proper send off but <clears throat> I might as, well, might as well do something so the two voice actors First one is Dwight Schultz. So So let's see. She divorced in in Sacrifice, he voiced in Fall, Attack, Fall Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel. He voiced. He voiced in parts of, parts of, part, uh, parts of Caribbean, at World's End. He voiced the Flash, Martian Manhunter, and DC Universe Online. He voiced Wilhelm Deathhead Strasse and Wolf of the New Order. And Lazo Valentine and Batman Arkham Knight. Also Captain Cade and Fallout 4. Yeah, he voiced Mundal and Chowder. Alright, let's see. He voiced Leo and Johnny Bravo in the very in Johnny Bravo Christmas. He voiced in Cat Dog. He voiced in the Wild Thornberries. He voiced and found the guy two episodes in Holy Crap and Running Mates. He voiced in Rugrats. He voiced in Cat Scratch. He voiced in Ben 10. He voiced in Chowder. He voiced in Scooby Mystery Inc. He voiced in Wonder, in Wonder Over Yonder. He voiced T Dine he voiced T Dine's Go. Also he voiced in the Powerpuff Girls. Now it's the fourth voice actor. Now here comes the cartoon. Let's see now. Uh Cat Dog. So I've seen Cat Dog before. Back in the day. This is a series by two conjoined brothers of different species, one have been a cat and a dog. The first episode aired April 4, 1998, following the 1998 Kids' Choice Awards. October of that, and the show premiered in October of that year. Similarly, the season two episode Fetch was shown in theaters with the with the Rugrats movie 1998 before it ended on TV. Was of Jim Cummings, Tom Kenny, Carson Alzaraki, and Billy West. I might discuss Billy West in the second voice actor. The series was canceled on June 5, 2005, leading to a total of four seasons, 68 episodes, and over seven years. The series was produced by Nickelodeon Animation Studios. The series revolves around a cat and a dog, a conjoined twin hybrid of cat and dog who share the same body with, with no tail or hind legs. Although they're best friends and brothers, they have very different personalities. Sim similar to the odd couple in Looney Tunes shorts. Dog enjoys eating at fast food joints like Taco Depot, whereas cat doesn't. doesn't. The series takes place in Yearburg, a town dominated by anthropomorphic animals and occasional humanoids. 
Karen is very cool. And character very culture while Don is very fun loving and enjoys chasing garbage trucks, carbs and exploring many things. <laughs> yeah, Karen is voiced by Jim Cummings, a cat who's smarter than more kind than the two. Have the device of playing to trick Don into getting what he wants, such as making Doc smarter and attempts at more in common with him. Yeah, Dog is more happy is is more happy go lucky and more naive of the two. Also he's gullible and believes everything he's told. Else there's the, uh, yeah, there's the uh, Greaser Dogs, too. There serves the main antagonist of the series. They go differently than from, from school playground bullies. P uh, picking on anyone uh, weaker or different from them. It's just by pounding them. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Rance and Rabbit. It's voiced by Billy West, who's a California rapper who's a stereotypical authority figure in one, in one of the series' tr tertiary antagonists. He has job titles like police officer, lifeguard, prison guard, firefighter, boss of various businesses, principal and president, mayor, driven fair, doctor, TV host, contest judge, and taco depot manager, etc. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Let's see. Broadcasting. The series originally aired on Nickelodeon in the U in the U.S. from 1998 to 2005. It subsequently aired on Nicktoons from 2002 to 2011, and also on Teen Nick from 2013 to 2018. In Britain and Ireland, the series was broadcast on Nickelodeon same same years, but on Nicktoons from 2002 to 2013. In Canada, the series was broadcast on Nickelodeon from 2009 to 2017, and on YTV from 1998 to 2006. Also awesome. in Japan, the series was broadcast on Nickelodeon from 2008 to 2009, and then 1999, my bad, and TV Asa uh, Asahi from 1999, from 1999 to the present day. In 2010, Nickelodeon contracted Amazon.com's Create Space service arm to produce DVD sets of CatDog and other Nickelodeon shows exclusively for sale on Amazon. The DVDs were manufactured on demand. The DVD R's to match orders. The series was also also available for a radio download on Amazon's system video service. Now the reception. Catalog received generally positive reviews from critics and audiences. The series was reviewed by Common Sense Media with a score of two out of five stars. Thanks, Common Sense Media. Advice for children seven and up. The series has as a 6.6 .6 rating on IMDb, that's not bad, and an 8 out of 10 on TV.com. Now, also, they were in video games too. Catal, The Quest for, for the Golden Hydrant, 1999 on PC. Catal, Saving Me and Bob, it was cancelled for the PlayStation. Nicktoons Racing, Nicktoons Party Blast, seen but not playable characters. Nicktoons. Attack of the Toy Bots, seen but not playable characters, and Nathan's MLB, seen but not playable characters. Now, second one, Billy West, the voice of Fry in Futurama. Better yet, I'll be discussing Futurama and Billy West at the same time. Billy West. He voiced Ren and Ren Stimpy and Ren and Stimpy, Doug Funny. Phil J. Fry, Professor Farnsworth, that Brian can talk to Zoryberg, a number of others of Futurama, also voiced Shaggy Rogers at one point. So he voiced, he voiced Doug and Ren Stimpy show came, came simultaneously with, on the two of the first original three, Nixon's and Nickelodeon, the other being Rugrats. Over his career, West has been the voice talent of close to all twenty characters, including some of the iconic anime figures such as such as Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny. Also went to birthday Mel Blank in his prime. The voice Arthur Q. Bryan used for Elmer Fudd as well as other cartoon characters from from Warner Brothers. Anthony Weekly described as the West as the new Mel Blank and no how's this build to, to, to make well-known voices. 
West, yeah, also wanted to dub, develop Virtual Voices too. Kurt says it's Phil J. Fry and Stimpy, both he originated. West has been very outspoken to artists' displeasure about the influx movie star actors providing voiceover characters. <laughs> also, he provides his role on Emma Ford and Cartoon Network's The Looney Tunes show. West provides a voice of. Yeah, also a. Uh, he also voices of Stimp, also voices Stimpy in the Gloomers Running Stimpy show. According to West, he was originally supposed to do the voice of Ren Stimpy and perform both characters on the tape that was used to sell the show to Nickelodeon. But somebody decided to do the voice of Ren himself. Now, Future Rama. He voices Fry, Professor Farnsworth, Zach Brannigan, and Dr. Zorberg, and various other characters. As he has. As he and Alfred Trump cast characters, they do the commentaries. Was was so many characters throughout the series that conversations are often held there between the characters that he's voicing at. <laughs> Futurama was renewed by Comedy Central as four directed DVD films broken into 16 TV episodes. Was reprised his roles for these films and was signed on for new 26 episode production seasons, four 13 episode air seasons for Futurama. Which are in the summers of 2010 to 2013. So, he was Red, the uh, M&M from 1996 to the present. Buzz, the Honey Night Cheers B, Popeye from Minnie Mae, Babe Ruth, Mickey Goldman, and Bruce Lee from Breast Ice T. He voiced the Speed Racer character in the late 1990s advert for Volkswagen because the commercial producers could not locate Peter Fernandez, the original voice of Speed Racer. However, the producers did locate Kerwin or the original voice of the character Trixie and Spridal. He voices Bugs and Elmer in Space Jam, applies the roles of Bugs and Fudd in subsequent Looney Tunes feature length films, and returns as Fudd, turn as Fudd in the attempt to release Looney Tunes back in action. 1998 was starred in directed video of the film Scooby Doo's Alan and Shaggy Rogers, becoming the second person to portray the character, the first being Casey Kasem. He was one of the top contenders for place case in his retirement in 2009, but his role lost to Matthew Lillard in 2000. What? Well, what's to Matthew Lillard? Could you imagine West voice and Shaggy be cool to do? I'm telling you now. Also, voice he appeared in a cameo in Garfield the movie, other films. Also, he also went also a uh, he. Worst in three Tom and Jerry direct video movies. So he voiced Dr. Zoidberg in The Simpsons Game, Phil J. Fry, Farnsworth, Zoidberg, that bring in Futurama in 2003. He voiced Muttley and Lil Gruesome in the Wacky Races, starring Destiny Muttley. Yeah, H Hampton. Time to Adventures Toon and Tunenstein. Bugs and Elmer, Bugs Money Lost in Time, The Yak and Get into the MLB, and they're in Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> that's, that's, that's epic right there. Now, Futurama. And then, after that, the end of season two. Futurama. As an American science fiction sitcom created by Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, the series follows the adventures of slacker Phil J. Fry, who's cr See, he was like frozen for a thousand years as he revived in the 31st century. Fry finds work at an inter interplanetary delivery company. The series was envisioned by Granny in the mid 1990s while working on The Simpsons. The U.S. The United States the series was aired on Fox from March 29th, 1999 until 2003 and aired on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim from 2003 to 2007. It was arrived in 2007 as four direct-to-video films, which last of which was released in early 2009. 
Comedy Central entered into the into an agreement with 20th Century Fox to syndicate the existing episodes to fair and air the films as 60 new half hour episodes constituting the fifth season. An audio only episode featuring the original cast members was released in 2017 and as an episode of the Nerdist podcast. Now let's see now the, the now the development. Fox ordered 13 episodes immediately after immediately after. However, Fox feared the themes of the show were not suitable for the network. Concept of suicide booths, Dr. Zoidberg, and better antisocial behavior. <laughs> Seriously. Now, voice actors. Also, well, Leonard Nimoy guest starred along with Al Gore, Tom Kenny, Beck, Bill Shatner, Sarah Silverman. Yeah, yeah, Pan from, from Pan and Teller, Matt Groening, Buzz Aldrin, Stephen Hawking, and and Emily Clark, to name a few. Let's see, future yeah, Futurama guest stars. Futurama had eight main cast members. You saw we so the so so this the West. Voices of Field Trade Fred, Professor Farnsworth, Dr. Toyberg, Zach Brown again. Curious to go voice Lila, and it's only, main, only member of the main cast to voice only one character. An interview in 2010, Sago remarked that she did not know that the, uh, another person was to voice Lila until many years after the show first began. Philip Moore voices Ernest Conrad, his son Dwight, he's the Bob of Tate, and Reverend Preacher Bot. Lauren Tom voice Emmy Wong, Tress McNeil voice Mom and other main characters, Marlisa Marsh voice Kiff Croker, several supporting characters such as Calculon. David Herman voice Scruffy and various supporting characters. Fox Cancellation, Com Central Revival, Com Central Cancellation. So, here's some of the characters. Fry is an immature, slovenly, yet good hard sentiment pitch delivery board who falls into a car jam pod, is activated to free him just after the mid engine first tw 2000. He reckons on New Year's Eve 2999. Gets a job as delivery board for Planet Express. Accompanied by his only living relative, Professor Farnsworth. Triangle Leela is the confident one captain of the Planet Express ship. A band as a baby, she grew up in the Cookieville Orphanarium, believing herself to be an alien from another planet, but actually she was from the sewers. Yeah, Bender, said having their cigar smoking, kleptomanical, misanthropic, ill tempered robot. <laughs> also, he's programmed to banger for suicide booths, and is later designated as assistant sales manager and cook. Despite lacking the sense of taste, Professor Farnsworth, Fry's distant nephew, because Fria Fry was was frozen until two thousand. To fund his focus mad scientist, all this depicted as British science and adventure at more than one hundred sixty years old, and extremely prone to age or late for forgetfulness, fits of temper. Keeper Farnsworth was by cast Susie, who she's like a son. Zach Brannigan is an incompetent, extraordinary main captain of the Dupe, or Democrat Order of Planets. He's a ladies' man, pursues her yeah, relentlessly, well, bet. And her is Leela. Yeah, Mom is an 11 5 miles crew nurse on Mom Corp. Nibbler is pet Nibblonian, and rescues from an employing planet. And feature and feature on episodes. So let's go to yeah we're yeah yeah my guess say yeah.
not the uh, I'll be discussing the final episode for the for Futurama. Meanwhile, it's the series finale of the American series Futurama. It serves as the 26th episode of the seventh season and the 140th season ep episode of the series overall. So in retro futuristic 31st century, the series follows the events of the Poison Planet Express. Meanwhile, it revolves around the romantic relationship between Fry and Leela. In the episode, Professor Farms with the events of Bun that allows the user to travel back in time by 10 seconds. The uh, plot that could deliver its practice to, to Loon Park with Fry, they are both mentioning that this is where they went on their first delivery. That's the second episode. During the yeah, during a ride, Vander vomits out nuts and bolts, and one of them jams the ride's gears, causing Leo to fly out of the ride and out of the park's glass dome and into space. By this time, Fry is tired after falling so long and accidentally lets go of the button and just doesn't care when he hits the ground. Leo picks up the button from Fry's splatter remains and used to loot the final stage of Fry's life. The professor being outside the time starts and tries to stop her and seemingly vaporize when Lee presses the button. After several Lee Ben enters a method of flame Fry's life during the airbag he contains. He survives, the, survives this time but lands on the button smashing the freezing time throughout the universe. Yep, after the freeze, after freezing time, finally conducted wedding with themselves, spent what is for them decades romantically one in the stationary world. During the during most TV airings of the episode, rather than the traditional credits, the first episode featured from Space Pod 2000 merely aired adverts and said suggesting that time went back to the beginning of the series instead of right before the professors invented the button. So there you have it guys, that's the whole season, that's season 2 all, all together. That's just two all together guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the season that I sure did. Season 3, I will be discussing events from 1945 until 1989, that's the Cold War. And probably season four, five, or probably season four, five, and six, we'll be discussing political parties. So, yeah, that was that. Okay. So there, what does it, guys? See you guys in episode in season three. Later, guys. Take care.